Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Hope that all of you are healthy and safe. Welcome back to the home science class. The class is presented by me, Hasina Afroj, Assistant Professor of Malishton College, Department of Home Science. Today, I will give the lecture on chapter 14. Name of the chapter is Textile Fibers. Our today's topics are uses of different types of fiber and identification of fiber. From these lessons, you can know characteristics of different types of fiber, uses of cotton fiber and flax fiber, uses of silk and woolen fiber, uses of rayon and nylon fiber, identification of different types of fiber. Uses of different types of fiber. According to its origin and structure, every fiber has its own characteristics. Due to their characteristics, each fiber is used differently. So, we should have a clear understanding of these characteristics. Then, uses of cotton fiber. Cotton fabric is much used in many ways. The price of this fiber is not so high. It can be bought easily. So the price of cloths fiber is less costly. Its demand is so high to the consumers for its Clothing qualities. Cotton textile is very comfortable, usable, hygienic, and suitable for all seasons. Cotton textile is regarded as the king of fiber. Characteristics of cotton fiber. Look, a strong sunlight affects cotton fiber and change it into yellow color. Dear students, underline this sentence in your book. Excessive exposure to the ultraviolet ray of the sun damages the fabric. Hot water does not affect cotton fabrics. So, it can be dipped into boiling water mixed with soda. Strong and thick acids affect cotton yards, but mild acids does not affect it. Cotton fabric is not much affected by bleaching, but bleaching reduces its longevity. The power to retain color is better in cotton fabric. When dipped in water, its strength increases by 25%. This line, underline, then uses of flax fiber. Flax is a very strong fiber. Fine thread and smooth linen is made up of its is very strong and cool. Linen fabric is heat conductive and comfortable. Underline this line. It feels cool on touch. This line also underline. 
it can be selected for table cover as it is attractive and it is hung beautifully. All kinds of bleaching powder may be used. Please underline this sentence also. It is not damaged in sunlight. It is very popular as clothes. Linen fabric is more durable than cotton. Dear student, underline this sentence. Uses of silk. Silk is called the queen of fiber. Which fiber is called queen of fiber? Silk is called queen of fiber. Such as cotton textile is called king of fiber. And queen of fiber is silk. This fiber is used for the luxurious and fashionable dresses due to its softness, smoothness and durability. It is lighter than cotton and linen cotton. Silk clothing is more comfortable than cotton clothing and remains warmer. But if silk is mixed with rayon and nylon, the price is cheaper. The silk is very expensive when silk is mixed with rayon and nylon, the price is cheaper. Then, use of woolen cloth. When we wear woolen cloths, we feel warm. Wool may be used for different purposes as warm cloths such as sweater, shorts, coat, pants, jacket, shawl, carpet. We should be very careful in washing and ironing. Wool clothing is very costly. If it is used carefully, it will be long lasting. Look at the pictures. Woolen fiber collected from elements. Then, uses of rayon fiber. Rayon is comparatively long lasting and cheap and can be bought at a variety of prices. It can be made attractive by adding various degrees of brightness. It is popular fabric because it can be used in different circumstances, activities at different times. The carpet, curtain, etc. made of this fiber being Newness for the room. The own texture is strong and bright. Different types of cloths are made from rayon through the special process. It is easy to wash and take care of it. It tends to dry out quickly because of its less ability to absorb water. Listen. The fiber is artificial fiber. Uses of nylon fiber. This is also a artificial fiber. Nylon cloths are used for various purposes as it is strong and light. Since nylon is elastic, long lasting and durable. Undergarments, mosquito net, bed sheet, furniture cover, ribbon, lace, tent, fishing net, carpet, gold bag, etc. are made of nylon. Since it can be taken care of very easily and washed and dried quickly, 
it is mostly used in rainy season nylon fiber along with other fibers is needed for different types of cloths having various qualities for example nylon cotton nylon wool nylon rayon etc it does not get dust easily and dust detention power of nylon is less it becomes soft when heat is applied so iron should be moderately warm in case of ironing Let's start the lesson 5 and 6. Here is identification of fiber. There are different types of natural, artificial and mixed fibers in the market. It is difficult to identify properly the nature of textile fiber through any specific test. It is to be determined through more than one test. It is called fiber identification test through which the nature of fiber is identified. The test which are taken to identify the fiber are divided into three groups such as physical test, chemical test and microscope test. Physical test. Physical tests can be done at home. We cannot depend so much on these tests as they are non technical. In most of the cases, we can simply guess the nature of fiber, but we cannot identify properly the nature of fiber through these tests. The physical tests are given below. Physical test are the level test, hot iron test, water test, test through opening, twist set, folding test, eye test, touch test. And burn test. Touch test. An experienced person can identify cloths made of different types of fiber touching it with his hands. It becomes possible because of his long time experience. For example, if we rub the cotton cloth with hands, we will feel cool and softness. Linen cloths are seen to be much more cool and is smooth than cotton cloths. But woolen cloths are hot and flexible, and same cloth seems hot and smooth. It is difficult to detect the mixed fibers cloths through this method. Then I test. Eye observation is the easiest, easiest test among all the physical tests. We can get idea about the nature of fiber by watching the length and brightness etc. Then folding test. We have to fold a cloth twice and press it with fingers. If it is linen fabric, the folding sign will be very clear on it and this sign will not disappear easily. There will be folding sign on cotton cloth also but this sign will not be so clear as on linen fabric. Silk and woolen cloths will not have 
wrinkle in this way. So, the difference can be identified among cotton, linen, and silk and wooden plus through this test. Then, we have to open twisted thread getting some threads from a cloth. If the cloth is wooden, there will be seen natural wrinkle or wave on the woolen thread. Besides, we can detect the source of thread by testing the torn thread after tearing it. If the front part of a torn thread looks needle like, it will be flat swiper. On the other hand, if the front part looks thick of a paint brush, it will be cotton fiber. Understand? Then what it is? It is very easy to detect flax and nylon fiber with this test as linen has a high ability to absorb water. Which fiber? has the high ability to absorb water, linen. If a drop of water is put on a cloth and it sucks water and spreads all around it, we will get the point that the cloth is made of flax fiber. That means it is linen fiber. On the other hand, as the nylon fiber does not have the ability to absorb water. It will not retain water. Let's see the hot iron test. It is easy to detect artificial fibers through this test. If we place a very hot iron on a cloth and if that cloth is acetate, nylon or decron, it will fully melt. Which fiber is melted by ironing or hot ironing? These are nylon or decron or acetate fiber. But it is the cloth is cotton, flax, silk, woolen or rail, there will be red burn spot on the cloth. The level test. A customer can get an idea about the cloth material looking at the level pasted on the cloth with so many information. Look at the picture. Do you see the level? Okay. Then burn test. Look, burn test is very good primary test. For this test, we have to open one or two twisted thread taking away from the cloth and burn it with fire and then we have to observe the burning sample and ash. We have to take the smell of the burning fiber also. Again, we have to test taking warp yarn. If the cloth is not made of weaving, a piece of cloth is to be taken to use for the burn test. Look at the chart. Concentrate on it. Listen attentively. This is very important for your exam. The result sheet of fiber burn test. Cotton and flax fiber burn with flame and will not shrink. 
It is burned quickly. Yellow bright flame is set. Reaction outside the flame. Burning will be continuing after taking away from flame. Smell. Spreading out a smell like paper burning. Light as feather, soft gray color reduced remains. Then wool and silk. A cluster like curling hair is created. Wood and silk burn slowly and make mild sound at the time of burning. Reaction outside the flame normally put out itself. Smell. Spit out a smell like hair or feather burn. What type of ash is outcome? Small black globule is created which is hard but easy to break. <coughs> then nylon fiber. Nylon will be melted in the flame, will sink, burn slowly through melting. Reaction outside the flame, put out itself, smell like vegetables. Hard, strong gray or copper colored globule is found which is not breakable. Classwork. Your today's classwork. What is identification of fiber? How many folds are to make in folding test? Which fiber melts in fire? Which fiber is the king of fiber? Which fiber is the queen of fiber. Then look at your homework. Write about the characteristics and uses of cotton and flex fiber. I hope you understand your lessons. Thank you. Goodbye.